it's crochet by bev welcome or welcome back to my channel hope you are doing fine today for this video tutorial we're going to make this colorful bucket hat this bucket hat is made with my scrap yarns as you can see i made with all half double crochet working in a round I know sometimes we are worrying of a lot of ends to weave in when we are working a lot of yarns like this but I'm going to show you the technique how to carry your yarn into your stitches as you can see this is the inside of my head I only have my beginning tail here to weave in and the end tail which I already weaved so as you can see i carry the tails of my yarn here so you don't need to worry of having a lot of ends to weave in so we're going to carry our ends into the stitches all right here in my bigger table i laid out all my scrap yarns as you can see these are all my scrap yarns from these packs that i'm going to use and these are different brands from long yarns this is, what is it? samba drops paris rainbow from hobby this is the eight ply and drop sapran this is thinner so i'm going to use with double pull with this color or a mix of colors and you will need also tape measure your needle scissors and i'm going to use here five millimeter hook and one stitch marker as you can see i have those small strands of yarn that i save here so they are now very useful in this project so if you have those small strands that you have you can use it now in this project all right now we're going now to start we're going to work all half double crochet working in a round to start we're going to make a magic loop or magic circle and hold like that and now we're going to chain two and this chain two i don't count as a stitch all right and then we're going to work 10 half double crochet inside our ring or circle this all right so half double crochet yarn over insert your hook into your circle or loop and then half double crochet all right so continue 10 total of half double crochet inside into the magic ring so count your stitches so you can start here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so the J2 here doesn't count as a stitch and then now you can pull this to close the circle just pull it tight and now we are ready for our next row or second round so here in my first head i join my next row or next round by slip stitching as you can see you can see the slip stitching and i'm a bit uh, off with it so i want to change and i want to show you different technique to work in a round by not doing like this with the slip stitch As you can see it's visible so what i'm going to show you here is we're going to continuously working in the round so what i mean with that is we're going now to work our next round here straight into our first stitch which is this so just yarn over and into your first stitch from your last round we're going to work half double crochet straight like that and now we're going to need our stitch marker just to know this is our first stitch in this round all right so here in the next round we're going to work two half double crochet in each of the 
stitches so we already did one here so we're going to work one more half double crochet so we have two half double crochet there so just continue in each stitches from our last round work two half double crochet So as you can see, I'm still using my pink yarn here. And here into the next, I'm going to show you how to change color. Alright, so if you would like now to change color, what you're going to do is you're going to work your half double crochet and finish three loops on the hook. And then this, you can hold like this and then get your next color you would like to insert. So hold like this and then pull and finish your half double crochet here and then drop the tail and then pull this a bit now working with this blue yarn so i'm going to work one more here and then before you continue so this previous yarn this pink and the tail we're going to tie them together so just tie them like this not too tight and now you can continue working with your blue yarn or your current color like this you can also cut your pink yarn and just continue and holding your tail this the pink tail and the blue into the stitches like this And continue your two half double crochet into the stitches so you're going to have a total of 20 half double crochet or stitches in this round so this is now our beginning stitch so we're going now to work the next round all right we're going to remove our stitch marker so for the next round we're going to work one half double crochet and then one increase so what i mean is we're going to work one half double crochet into our first stitch so put it back your marker into your first stitch so one and then into the next stitch work two half double crochet so we're going to increase so one half double crochet and then two half double crochet so we're going to repeat that all the way around here okay so here into the next one half double crochet then into the next two half double crochet i want to change my color here all right to change color so hold your next color like this and then this unfinished half double crochet we're going to finish by inserting our next color then work with your new color now and before you continue tie again and then cut this yarn and then continue with this color the green or any color you're working now so don't forget the count of your stitches or the increase so one two then i work here one half double crochet then next stitch two half double crochet so don't forget also to carry your tail at the back all right so continue one half double crochet then increase two half double crochet into the next stitch all right so in this round you have a total of 30 stitches and to go for the next round remove your stitch marker and here into the first stitch we're going to work directly our half double crochet so just work one in there and then put it back your stitch marker here into your first stitch so here in this round we're going to work two half double crochet into the first stitch and then work two half double crochet into the next stitch which is two half double crochet and then increase okay so two half double crochet and then one increase but i'm going to do my increase 
not into the same mistakes where I have my two half double crochet. I want my increase not really visible as you can see here. I work my increase or adjusted in different parts of my circle because if you're going to continue like doing two half double crochet here and then increase, so you're going to have your increase in every first of your two half double crochet. So into the next round, you you're going to work again here into the first stitch of these two half double crochet. You will notice that when you are doing your rounds or you will get it what I mean when you are doing this increasing. So what I'm going to do is we're going now to do my increase here. So I work one here and then work one more here just to distribute my two half double crochet in different part of my stitches not only here into the two double crochet i know you will get it what i mean when you are doing already your circle okay so now we're going to continue our stitch pattern the two half double crochet and then increase two half double crochet i will write also here so you will know the pattern all right so i work here two half double crochet it's already in Increase in there so I'm going to work one half double crochet next stitch one half double crochet next stitch increase then one half double crochet one half double crochet then two half double crochet okay so we are going to continue this all the way around you can change color anytime you would like so probably i'm going to change my black now i think here so just continue one half double crochet one half double crochet then two half double crochet okay one one two one one two all right so i'm going to show you here how you can use your thinner yarn you can use double pull so i have here this thinner yarn so i going to pull two strands so just like this very simple you can combine with different colors you would like and then just work normally half double crochet all right so i end up here one half double crochet because i started here two half double crochet into my stitches so it's complete my pattern my one half double crochet one half double crochet then two half double crochet all right so now we're going to work next round so this round is a total of 40 stitches so next round we're going to work here into the first stitch so put one half double crochet and then put it back your marker so if you would like a uh, cute stitch markers i have in my etsy shop you can look at there i have many stitch markers so in this round we're going to work now three half double crochet and then increase what i mean is you're going to work in your first stitches three of double crochet and then increase for example one two three and then into the next stitch two half double crochet all right so i'm going to work like that i'm going to work one two three and then two half double crochet so my two half double crochet here in not in the two double crochet here or in the increase so it's okay so we're going to work like that so one two three and then in next stitch increase so you're gonna work two half double crochet in there so again one i'm going to change color here so again one two and then another half double crochet and then next stitch two half double crochet all right so one two three increase two half double crochet there then one two three increase all right so continue like that all right so i'm done my round five so this is a total of 50 stitches so just remove your stitch marker and work one half double crochet put it back so here in this round we're going to work four half double crochet and then increase okay so i'm going to work two half double crochet 
and then here into my next stitch i want now to do my increase as you can see two half double crochet here then i already increase in there so here in my last two stitches i'm going to work one half double crochet then one half double crochet so it will complete my pattern so here into the next stitches i'm now going to work my four half double crochet one two three four and then increase two half double crochet into the same stitch one two three four and then next stitch two half double crochet okay so continue like this and then you're going to end here two half double crochet because we put here two half double crochet all right continue all right so when you are done your round six this is a total of 60 stitches so for round seven we're going to work now five half double crochet and then increase so one, two, three, four, five, then increase six into the same stitch, another half double crochet. All right, so five half double crochet and then increase two half double crochet into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five then next stitch to half double crochet or increase all right so do that all the way around and then we're going to work our round eight all right so i'm done my round seven and this is a total of 70 stitches now we're going to decide if you would like to continue one more round or not so this round seven is already 16.5 centimeters i suggest to go on this size this measurement if you have a smaller head or if you are making a regular fit size of a hat i suggest to stop in here around 7 or at least 16 to 17 centimeters here in my first head this is 18 centimeters and it is round 8 if you're going to continue round 8 your stitch pattern will be 6 half double crochet then increase all right i will go going to write it here so you will know your pattern or if you do one more row like round nine your stitch pattern will be seven half double crochet then increase all right so if you want your head bigger or more space into your head i suggest to go with at least 18 to 19 centimeters or if you have a big head i suggest to work until 18 centimeters or 19 centimeter at least all right so for me i will stop in round seven because this first hat it's a bit bigger in my head or give more space but i would like a bit fitted in my head so i will stop now here in round seven and this is 16.5 centimeters already all right so when you are done the top part of your hat now we're going to work the side of the head which is this so now we're going to do without decrease so we're just going to work normal half double crochet into the stitches so here into the next round we're going to work into the back loop of our stitches just to create this curve of the hat so remove your stitch marker here into the first stitch into the back loop work your half double crochet so here into the back loop half double crochet so put it back again your stitch marker there first stitch all right so we're going to work here into the back loop so yarn over insert your hook into this loop or into the middle of the v and then work half double crochet just like that all right so continue working half double crochet into the back loop only all the way around until you reach here so no more increase in this round all right continue all right so when you are done this round working in the back loop now we're going to continue working into the regular stitches so remove your stitch marker and then again into the regular stitches 
into the boat loops we're going to continue working our half double crochet so don't forget to put it back your stitch marker all right so now work into the regular stitches your half double crochet so we're now working without increasing just go all half double crochet into the stitches until you reach the desired low of your head before the brim or i suggest at least above your eyebrows and then we're going to stop in there and then we're going to increase to make the brim of the head so i made an increase here so i will tell you how many rows i we're going to make in this hat so in this hat i made one two three four five six six seven seven rows and then i increase here in my eighth row starting here i count start here one two one two three four five six seven and then here i increase so it's up to you how low you would like your head or i suggest at least above your eyebrows and then we're going to increase for the brim all right so just continue all half double crochet around no more increase and then we're going to work the brim okay continue here all right so when you are done the side of your head so my head is a total of eight rows start from here and it is six inches or 15 centimeters start from at the top and when you are done the side now we're ready to make the brim okay so remove your marker here and we're going to increase again so what we're going to do is we're going to work four half double crochet and then increase so one two three four half double crochet and then into the next stitch two half double crochet put it back your marker so we're going to work four half double crochet and then two half double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to repeat that four half double crochet then increase one two three four then two half double crochet all right so we're going to do this all the way around and then the next row i'm going to show you all right so when you are done your increase here for the brim in my next row i will not going to make increase but if you would like a wider brim just like my first set i made a decrease also in my second row i suggest if you would like a um, wider brim you need to make another row of increase all right for the increase here you just need to make five half double crochet then increase okay so five half double crochet just like what i did here one two three four five and then two half double crochet here for the increase one two three four five and then increase all right so if you would like a wider brim but here in my second hat i will not do increase so i will just work all half double crochet into my stitches all right so just continue all half double crochet until you reach the desired long of your head so in my brim i have four rows here so i increase here and then increase here and on this last two rows i didn't make a decrease so only in these two rows first two rows here and then into your next rows you don't need to decrease or else your brim is too wide all right so here i will going to continue making three more rows so i will just make my brim a total of four rows but if you would like a longer one you can add more all right so this is at least two inches four rows two inches or five centimeters okay so now i'm going to continue my head or my brim a total of four rows or four rounds all right see you back all right so i changed plan here so i'm now in my third row for my brim this is the first second and third so in my first i increase and then next row here i didn't increase and then here i increase so what i did is one two three four five half double crochet then increase these two half double crochets so you can uh, increase in here in the second row or in the third row all right so you just only need to increase two rows 
to make the brim and then the next rows you don't need to make increase all right so i will just do my increase here in my third row and then into the next row i will not do in increase okay so you can do that also all right i'm back and i'm done the desired length of my head and it's only four rows for my brim you can add more if you would like a longer one and this is a total of eight inches or 20 centimeters it's up to you you can add more into your brim to make it longer your hat but for me this is now enough and i'm now going to show you how to do the invisible joining here into your last stitch so i'm going to remove this so this is my last stitch so here as you can see if we work half double crochet it's a bit long the gap between our first stitch here to make the visible stitch so i'm going to do is i'm going to work my last two stitches single crochet just to make it smaller and then we're going to make the invisible joining here into our first stitch all right here i didn't uh, make the single crochet because i used the slip stitch joining technique here so they are both the same length of my half double crochet in my last stitch and my first stitch so i just did two single crochet here so when you are done here just cut your yarn a bit and then pull grab your yarn needle and then we're going to insert our needle here into the first stitch here and then insert your needle here like that so it's going to look like invisible joinings you can see the stitches are look the same so now we are ready to fasten up our yarn just fasten up so for me i always make a knot tie a knot here just to make really secure my yarn and then weave my tail and now weave my beginning tail here so make sure that you tie this also so just tie it here just make a knot to make sure it fasten up very well and then just weave in your yarn all right so our hat is done so hope you did enjoy working this tutorial and please don't forget to tag me in my instagram at crochet by Beb if you would like to share your finished hat with me and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you will be notified for more videos hope to see you again and take care everyone happy crochet thank you so much bye